hello and let me welcome you guys let me quickly fit that flying gear and I'm gonna take you for a flight today with my Yava Perak so let's get out and let's go to the bike here you can see beautiful day here are the keys to the bike I have a nice kind of key ring with a helmet all right let's get it started guys and again the day is really nice and beautiful today and it's all sunny uh, well it's not that hot as you can see I'm putting on special gloves these gloves have a heating function because it's only two degrees centigrade so uh, they have a special warm-up feature put in batteries uh, it's actually three uh, AA batteries to each glove and then you can put it on okay now please enjoy the surrounds as we ride down the hill it's really a great beautiful day today I must say uh, and it's a really 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 excellent to go for a ride now so in fact um, well where I'm going is uh, you can see this is morning and I'm going for my second shift to work, so quite an enjoyable ride to work today. So uh, please stay with me, and obviously don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we have more films with Yava Perak rides and other bikes, so please do enjoy it. Okay, few words of uh, well about the bike, maybe to sum it up. So it's a cool nice little cruiser it's actually a bobber style type of bike and um, well when it comes to the riding position it's quite comfy it's get it's got this nice spring uh, seat and the integrated light in the seat so uh, the stylish aspect of this bike is really wonderful are on the headlamp and you can see there is the speedometer and very basic stuff so not uh, it's like kind of vintage style uh, clocks not much info there's not so much electronics except for the LCD display and well now we're riding on to the main road so the surrounds are beautiful and hilly today uh, I have about 25 k's to go and well the ride is quite enjoyable how about the power of the bike well if you expect this to be some super bike type of ride uh, no it's you are wrong that means it's not that kind of uh, ride
right so when it comes to the power again it's uh, I would say average it's only 350 uh, cc so again you can't expect the bike to have superpowers although for rides around 100 k's it's totally enough and the best cruising uh, I would say speed is around 90 to uh, 100 k's per hour uh, this is the also the most comfy because you don't have any windscreens anything like that so uh, uh, also the bike doesn't get strained if you go at that speed so uh, what about the agility it's okay I wouldn't say it's like uh, marvelous but it's totally enough for such style of bike and um, the longer rides are also quite okay uh, so far the longest trip I took was about 300 k's uh, and my bum was still fine so uh, you'll find this bike I would say quite a nice pleasurable ride especially for such uh, shorter uh, around the around the house rides or cruises so uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the accelerations I wouldn't say this is actually a bike uh, which excels in that aspect I still uh, I still didn't get used to on this motorcycle is the side stand which is really short and I have to keep my leg out uh, for bike not to bail to one side uh, so the 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 thing needs to be changed definitely in the next editions of this motorcycle this is real hassle I I can understand that they try to make it small but it's really tiny in the spring just pops it back into place so again this is the most annoying detail on this beautifully styled bike another thing I don't like is the tank cap it's actually also not a favorite thing to open uh, when you put fuel in no uh, well
want to get into so much details and well uh, if you want to nag about the disadvantages I think the mirrors could also be mentioned but obviously if you don't like such mirrors you can also put them up uh, higher on the on the handlebar so uh, this is not a problem for somebody who can't see the rear view uh, on uh, well under the under the handle so in fact this can be modified and you can even now if you take a look at the at the steering wheel I'm oh, sorry at the handlebars uh, you can actually see that there are two knobs covered with plastic or rubbery plastic which you can use to install the traditional mirrors which I didn't do because I like those uh, well overall I must say the style of the bike is really great um, what about the fuel consumption I did not see this bike to be eating too much gas which is especially important now with all the war things going on and the petrol prices are basically doubling over the recent years uh, so uh, in fact uh, this is quite an economic ride if you wanna talk about that now this doesn't have a uh, big mileage so I can't tell you about the service kind of uh, service point uh, service part of uh, of of the lifespan on this bike because it's actually got a low mileage uh, I take it out mostly for some joy rides uh, around nice weather and so far it's been really good uh, the only thing I can tell uh, about the engine bit and maybe the servicing bit is actually when it's um, cold uh, when you just started the cold uh, and well you keep on pushing in uh, or pressing in the clutch sometimes the engine dies so uh, when it gets warm it, it works normally but when it's cold it has a tendency to die off on you so you have to be careful just get it warm first before you go uh, let's say overtaking some vehicles or riding hard uh, well uh, what about the other aspects the style is really great I just love it so let me show you now a nice film uh, where you can see the 360 uh, but on this bike uh, so um, I think it's uh, really enjoyable and you'll be surprised how how good the design is on this bike uh, It doesn't have much of these LED type of things on the bike. You can see the the front headlamp is still traditional, uh, but the rear light is really nice and beautiful, integrated into the seat. Uh, and I must say, it's real comfy to ride. Uh, the paint job is quite nice as well. It's kind kind of uh, I would say graphite black mate. Uh, kind of shine to it although it's not a full mate it's uh, it's actually kind of uh, semi mate uh, semi gloss paint but it's really good looking all right well the price uh, I think this is one of the most affordable stock available uh, factory bobbers uh, actually it's even less than half price of the uh, of the Triumph uh, bobber so uh, obviously uh, this can be a cool option for somebody who's looking for uh, a good looking everyday uh, low fuel consumption ride okay so uh, you can probably see a lot of uh, films also from India on this bike uh, although I must say probably in India this is not such a popular ride uh, and uh, it's quite expensive on that market too um, well uh, this was actually one of the bikes I wanted to get my hands on so it's actually really really nice okay so please enjoy the rest of the film and obviously I'll see you guys around